Hi, I'm Hasty, and I'm part of the business development team at Made in Space. Made in Space is a startup that collaborated with NASA on the first 3D printer that was sent to the International Space Station. So Made in Space built and tested and now operates this printer, and we've printed 25 parts so far. So here's some of the things that Made in Space has 3D printed in space so far. So this ratchet is our most recent print, and what's exciting about it is that it was unplanned. It was actually printed on demand after an astronaut saw we had printed this socket head. We overheard him on the radio saying that he wishes he could test it out on a ratchet. And within a week, one of our engineers had tested and qualified and then 3D printed this ratchet on the International Space Station. And it's functional, and it was printed as one print with moving components. And now it's actually online. The design is online on NASA's website for anyone to download and print their own. So our next printer, the Additive Manufacturing Facility, will be a larger device and it'll also be commercially available for anyone to use. And what's really exciting about it is that it will have dual extrusion and be able to do multiple materials. Some of the other materials the Additive Manufacturing Facility will be able to print with is things like nylon, which is very resilient and strong, and PET, or PET, which is recyclable. So this was printed with recycled water bottles. And we're also developing a recycler that'll be a complementary system, so you'll be able to reuse old prints or even waste from packaging on the space station. So we've also modified our technology to be able to print with synthetic lunar regolith, which is simulated moon dirt, and with a binder we're able to 3D print with this material and if we try to build a colony on the moon or a base on Mars we'll be able to utilize the resources we have there. For more about Real 2015 visit real2015.com and to learn everything about the world of reality computing from Autodesk visit recap dot autodesk dot com